So I'm here with Sam in Fullerton, California. You own Myron's Extreme Machines, home of the Electric Bicycle Center. For almost 30 years now. For, yeah, man, you've been, you've been around for a while. You started out with GoPeds, the gas powered variation. And, and now what I'm seeing is some kind of like electric bike adapter GoPed thing. Can tell me about this, you know, what is this? So back in 1984, they had the Olympics here in uh, LA. Okay. And I was working for Myron down on La Palma in Anaheim, California. Nice. And the Olympic torch ran right in front of the store in 1984. Rad. Well, I had this old Murray and it has the actual Olympic from 1984. Oh, to celebrate, yeah. To like... celebrate, right? There's like a <laughs> limited edition Murray. And oh, about 2006, Steve Patmont, the CEO of GoPed, decided to get into the electric bike industry. And I kept raving about how the growth was going uh, for us as far as electric bike sales go. So his idea was to make a kit. And the cool thing about his kit, it's all inclusive. Mm. So what do I mean by that? Motor, battery, charger, all inside of a 15 pound kit. Oh wow. Friction drive like the old Zap World product and some of the older bikes. Okay. This is 400 watt and this motor was used on the original hoverboard scooter that he used that I oh. showed you on a review. And from this side it's hard to see the motor but from that side yeah, yeah there's there's the motor right there with yeah. the wires and then this is it's almost like sandpaper or something that rubs on the tire. Correct. And it's spring loaded and he used GoPed componentry on this. I like this because it, it's a 24 volt 10 amp hour battery. It's lithium and I've gone 25 miles on this bike and you have two different settings on the handlebar up here, like an eco mode or a turbo mode. Oh, cool. And I just wrote it in eco mode because this is set up as a single speed and it could, I could go 25 miles, no problem at all on it. It looks like you, a trigger throttle, right? So that's the, the way that you activate this. You just sort of- Yeah, it's, um, if there's no pedal assist, it's strictly a, a thumb throttle. And let's actually turn it on right now because we've got the, the, the spindle disengaged. Oh yeah. And as you film that, I'm going to actually rev this motor up. You can hear the RPM. Oh, it's pretty quiet. So that's yeah. like the economy mode right there. And then, you can hear the RPM really pull up on that. Yeah. Now in 2006, most electric bikes didn't have the speed of this. This bike was going about 22 miles an hour Jeez. with this motor and this spindle, but it's such a funky old crappy bike that we had it on, you know? <laughs> yeah. It was, it was uh, we sold about six or seven of them, I think, and Steve made about 25 of them at a price point of about 799. But in, in 2006, 2007, when this came out, 799 was a lot of money. I mean, what yeah. was being sold at that time by the competitors, uh, most people weren't willing to spend that much money on this kit. I, I said I sold like about six or seven of them and, and Steve probably sold about a total of 25. Yeah. And he told me later on that he was actually selling them at a loss, every kit that he built. Oh man. Yeah, so very limited, very rare kit. Uh, American made, as all the GoPed product was, uh, except for a few that were made over in Ireland. But um, this is a company that sold tens of thousands of motorized scooters that were American made right here by American yeah, workers. Look at that. Made in the USA. Made in the USA, baby. And Sam, I don't know if you, uh if you've ever gotten any friends standing on this, it almost looks like a skateboard deck. No, you, uh, you, I wouldn't want to put that. more than about 10 pounds on the back of this. Yeah. But you got your handle on the back, and again, you can quick release this, and the throttle just has a quick release right here that you undo, okay. and you pull it apart. No worries. And then, you can, wanna... and then you take off with this and up, up your office or wherever you want to go with your, leave your bike on the bike rack and remove mm. the kit. Looks pretty, pretty well sealed too. And the, the interesting thing about this is now we're in 2015, and I've seen another product come out that is available, at least right now, now, and it's from Lithuania. It was funded on Kickstarter. And it's called the Rubby. Oh, and so yeah. you know, yeah, it's like this is sort of like a rubbing solution. It kind of powers the powers the wheel forward. And both of these, they're very similar design. Um, the Rubby, has, it's a little more sophisticated, right? And um, I, I, I would say so. But you know, anything that's a friction drive bicycle really goes back to the roots of electric bikes. Hmm. You're going back a hundred years in technology here, and it's still being used today in different applications. Uh, the difference is, instead of using OLED acid batteries, we've got the lithium batteries, and we can get these kits complete for about a, at a 15 pound uh, weight, and that's way more functional on your bike and be Absolutely. able to take on and off versus the old. Uh, EV Warrior and the e-bikes from uh, the early to mid 90s, right? Which were much heavier. This is modern battery technology and old uh, friction drive technology merged together. It's a neat, neat setup and something that you can you can adapt your old bike and easily put it on, take it off. And a lot of these because they have sort of the smaller watt hours, so you could take them on planes sometimes or check them. And it's just a it's an alternative. 
to, to what's out there, like the purpose build. So this is really cool. Do you want to take it off and does it yeah, still work? Oh yeah, this, this thing, it still has the original battery in it from 2006, I think. How do you make it last so long? Sam? You know, you, you just keep kids? it, you maintain it. And uh, I don't know how far it'll go, but <laughs> let's give it a try and see how it goes up and down the parking lot. Here. And I think by maintain it, Sam means he doesn't let it ex like go all the way down, like discharge, right? You kind of keep it topped off occasionally. Keep it, keep it charged up. Okay, and then you, you store it in like a cool, dry place. Yeah, no, nothing garage. too hot, nothing too cold. Yeah. And it's easy to do here because we're in Southern California. So you're like in the garage and I'm sure people on the East Coast are like, oh, my garage is frozen. Court, come in here and, and uh, zoom in on this. I'm actually gonna engage the motor now to the wheel. This is a, a little, uh, half circle that they use on a go-ped scooter to fold the t-handle and he incorporated that to hold the engine up when i push that off the edge the oh. spring then pushes down the motor onto the rear tire and i'm going to rev the engine up now without actually riding it so you can see how and remember how i was talking about how as the engine engages onto the tire it bites further into the tire watch the motor now as i accelerate and you'll see it kind of you see it kind of bite oh, into yeah. the tire there and then there's the uh, economy mode and then I just hit the button up here and I double the, the torque output and I'm going in excess of 20 miles an hour now. It's nice. It's got like yeah. a little LED indicator there. You've got your charging port right there, I see. That's right. So all you need to do is carry on an extension cord to plug this bike into. There is no external charger. The charger is inside underneath the wooden deck here oh, uh, in the pan with the, uh, the battery and uh, the motor is external over here. Oh, and look. Safety warning, this device is not intended for transportation of humans and does uh, not have an independent braking system. So that that was, don't skateboard on this. I think that's what Yeah, that, yeah, you don't want to be land surfing up here on top of that. I mean, uh, I really want to. But yeah, it's cool. Let's okay. Get you on it, Do you want me to get on it? Okay, yeah, I'll go, I'll go ahead. Go helmet and, and try this thing out. Side, just flip it right there while you're riding it. Okay. I always try to start it out. Yeah, I've already dropped it down one level, so. But it's got enough juice in it for you to go around the building, I think, and, and, okay. and check it out and see what I'll it'll hop do. Hop on, thanks, man. Pedals are a little bent, so it's a little funky, but, you know. Whoop. There we go. So right now I'm just pedaling and even though there's probably a little bit of drag being produced by that, that little roller, it's not a whole lot. Doesn't feel like it's slowing me down much. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch hands and film that motor. Okay, here we go. I'm not having to pedal. I mean, we're not going very fast, but we're getting there. That's cool. It's also not very loud. Yeah, it's cool. I was, you know, it's not too loud. It got me going. Um, you know, I'm like 135 pounds, but do you want to hop on it and I can watch it take you? Like no pedaling and sure. get a, get the, yeah, again, external just, viewpoint. You didn't even go into turbo mode yet, did you? Oh, I, did. Oh, I just was in regular yeah, mode. Yeah, yeah, you got to go try it again in okay, the turbo mode. You. See what this thing will really do. I wonder. This will go over 20 miles an hour, Court. Okay. So hit that turbo mode and get it going. Okay, so am I am I in turbo mode now? No. There we go. Okay, now we're in turbo mode. Getting a little more power. Wow. That's pretty awesome. That is really awesome. Didn't look like it was very hard to set this thing up either. Not a whole lot of uh, messing around to do. Whoa. Woo. I know. The brakes are somewhat limited. It's a little sketchy if you get into that turbo mode. You send me out in turbo mode with no brakes. <laughs> hey, man. There you go. It's a relic from the past right there. I like it. I actually, I was pretty impressed with this yeah. for being a little bit older and, yeah. you know. On, you on know, when Steve Patmon actually, uh, I was at the factory when he was in the skunk works of developing this. Mm -hmm. And um, after getting, I was just coming back from Interbike actually and seeing what was out there around 2006, 2007. And when I saw this bike, he said I was more excited about it than he was actually. <laughs> Because I saw the potential of what you could do on this, yeah. and at the time, no one else could see. They couldn't see it. They didn't. They didn't get it yet. You know, 
And uh, now everybody's playing catch up, you know, and, and have uh, surpassed it as far as technology goes. In the last five years, you've seen so many improvements to electric bikes with innovation and yeah. battery technologies and cadence sensors and this torque sensors. This seems pretty good though. Like that's the thing, even though it's, I don't know, like almost 30 years since the Olympic Games that you were talking about with the frame. But when was the kit? When was this The kit out? was made around 2006 to 2007. Okay, so the bike is 30 years old, but the kit itself yeah. is maybe like 10 years old. Yeah, it's old. about a 10 year old uh, concept. But again, the, the motor came off of his hoverboard, which goes back to the late 90s. Can so you still get those? Uh, uh, no, now it's the ESR 750, the hoverboard. Uh, the original hoverboard was that motor, 400 watt yeah. uh, motor and uh, friction drive with regenerative braking. And it was a very high tech uh, little scooter. Yeah. I think it was way ahead of its time. Mm -hmm. and, and the hoverboard had some um, issues with it. Uh, mechanically, and it got the nickname uh, the Hoover Board. Oh. And you know what a Hoover is, right, Court? Oh, is that the, the based on the history of the United States and Hoover did all of these like big work programs? And... No, no, not at all. No. A okay. Hoover, <laughs> a Hoover is a is a vacuum cleaner. And what does oh, a vacuum cleaner do? Oh, it sucks. That's right. You oh, got no. it. It cleans so, things. Though? Yeah, no. Uh, it it, so up? it, it uh. had a few uh, 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 issues with it. Yeah. But with uh, with everything, uh, the next generation was improved, and eventually they went to a whole different platform with the ESR 750. Now they have the hoverboard with full suspension chain drive and a thousand watt motor. Wow. And you can get it up with as much as four of these same lithium batteries hmm. times three. So you can get it with four, four lithium batteries under the deck. Again, 24 Jeez. volt, 10 amp hour, uh, and uh, an awesome range. And I'm looking at the tire. It's like, here's the front tire. You can see some tread there. And here's the rear tire, and they don't look that much different. So I don't know what kind of how far you've taken this. I've only ridden this bike a couple hundred miles, probably. Okay, well, and so. actually, these are not the original tires. Uh, I picked these tires specifically because I felt it gave the best ride and the quietest. Yeah, uh, it ride. is quiet. It's, it's very nice. quiet, and these are the type of uh, tires that I'd recommend on the Rubby. Uh, that we it might actually be out. cool to put the rubby on this. The challenge is this is so much easier to install because it's not a European Pedelec only design. Right. I, I kind of prefer the throttle. Yeah, it's a little and bit it's just quick convenient. disconnect here, disconnect here, and the motor's it's off. Super convenient. Very convenient. Thanks very for quick showing and this. Easy. You know, it's always yeah, cool. And of course, you know, again, this isn't available anymore. The rubby is. There's a, a review back at electricridereview.com. And yeah, and the rubby's like the modern there. version of this. Yeah, and it's pretty cool, actually. You know, with the rubber, it's just different. It's just yep. different. Okay, do you want to hop on and I'll chase you real yeah, quick? Yeah, yeah, let's go for I don't think you can keep up with me on this thing. I'll put oh. it in turbo mode. Here we go, Court. Keep up with me here. I'm, I'm not even going to pedal. Let's see how I, I go here. All right. Catch you guys <laughs> later. Okay, there he goes. Oh, there you go. So for more electric rides, light electric vehicles, I'll see you back at electricridereview.com. Ride safe.